To begin with, open Adobe Illustrator and open a new file. The new file should be named with your name and then call it Pot of Gold. Your name and Pot of Gold. One artboard, letter size, 8.5 by 11, unit should be inches. Click OK and we're ready to begin. To start with, we'll click the Layers button. We're going to add a few extra layers. Click, 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 and this first layer is going to be a rainbow. Uh, second layer will be the pot of gold. The third layer will be the background. And as we start working, perhaps I'll add in the fourth layer, I'm not sure. To start with, we're going to use the rectangle tool. We want to change our settings. This at the moment is on white, this is on black. That's fine, we're going to make some changes in a little bit. Choose our rectangle tool. Come over, draw a thin rectangle like that. Choose the black selection tool, hold the Alt key down. Notice it is going to give me a duplicating arrow. And there are six colors, so I want one, two, three, four, five, and six. Not a color each of them. Colors of the rainbow, red, orange, white. Looks like I didn't change to the next one, so let's go back and make it red. Make sure that I've double clicked to select it. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Well, actually, let's go ahead and make an, an additional uh, color here. And I'll hit the Alt key and come back down. And let's go with an indigo color. Actually, that one will be violet. And this one will be an indigo. Now that I have the, the colors for the rainbow, I'll select, go under Object, I'm going to group it, go under Effect, I'm going to warp it, I'll make it an arc, oh, let's set this arc at about uh, 75, uh, leave the others at zero, this style of an arc, we'll say OK, notice I have a rainbow, so that is selected and that rainbow looks pretty good, but I'm still not really happy with it, so I'm going to go with the effect uh, into the artistic, and um, there's a lot of different choices. I think I like palette knife, and as you can see, the palette knife is what I'm going to do. I'll say OK. Oh, you know what happened? I did not select the object, so let's select the object and try that again. There we go. Now it seems to be working right. You can see the palette knife. Now if I had chosen a different type of choice here, you can see we'd have a variety of things. In this case, I'll do the palette knife. I want it to blend together. Excellent. Now I'm ready for my second, and I'll put that in the next segment of the video.